Hello my beautiful Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light, and today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for your general overall energies. And towards the end, I'm going to pull up a card from this Angel Wisdom Tarot deck. This is from Redley Valentine. And um, yeah, I'm going to jump into your reading right away. So if you're enjoying these, don't forget to give them a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right, guys, I see two different paths are opening here for you. <laughs> I think that's a confirmation. <laughs> and I see tears of joys coming out of your cup. Oh, my gosh. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, here, a tears of joy again. And this is actually going to be news coming from another place or country or city and there's another like a travel showing up for you or maybe people are traveling towards you there's so many people showing up here what's happening in here this is actually a very crowded environment you can see there's a ring on the bottom and this also looks like to me a b a letter b as in barry someone's name maybe their first name or the last name the letter b and um a lot of things are going to be happening for you. You can see how many stuff in here. And let me get my feather. So I see someone wearing a cloak. Actually, this person is very covered, very protected or protective. Uh, it's going to be showing up. But there's a star right in front of this person's face. Means Star means wish fulfillment. So this person, their energy, their existence, they can be literal someone that you know or someone uh, that is going to be a new person coming in uh, but the cloak means this person can be working in one of those uh, professions that they wear cloak like things uh, um, judge maybe in some countries lawyers wear that kind of stuff doctors wear that lab chemist like you can just multiply those examples this person that kind of business that kind of like um area of job and can be coming in what popped into my head i don't really see any snakes but there's a like this if you take this as a snake this person also can be someone working medicine medical field um you know like a doctor like a specialist maybe you're looking for at this moment i see you here wearing a hat and when you connect with this person if you're even looking for a job in that field you're holding up a wand and wearing a hat wand is a very good sign because you're a fire sign and this is representative of your energies I feel like you're going to be connecting with your energies, with the things you actually um, want to manifest. So you're going to have a great connection with your uh, higher self, maybe with your fire energy. And then you are this person with this person. Maybe you are grabbing this wand and starting to make things happen for yourself. And um, uh, with the help of this person, can be they can be opening a new path for you. And on the tip of the wand, you have a fish here. Fish means um, money. So whatever the thing that you do might bring you lots of uh, wealth, okay, in return. I see someone is actually climbing up um, a hill, but to leave your um, energies. I don't think this person has like a bad personality. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Ugh. <clears throat> I don't think this person has bad personality, but this person doesn't serve your energy anymore, doesn't serve your existence anymore. That's why you're letting them go, letting them um, to become something else, someone else, or maybe move on. And as soon as you do, there is something, there's a handle showing up. There's actually a little bumpy hill, but you're riding this. Maybe this can even be like a whale. You can see like the whale whale indicates someone who's very wealthy or a very good financial opportunity at the same time peace and quiet as well but there's like one two three people actually you're riding this whale together to some like success and i also see there's a bird here you're gonna receive very good news within like four months or so and as soon as you hear that maybe you're letting this person go that doesn't serve your energies anymore and then you're gonna be actually manifesting this huge opportunity with three other people that you're with uh, can be colleagues, maybe people that you get along with very well, very creative people as you are. And you're going to be riding this whale into a future 
that is actually going to be a little crowded that you're going to be dealing with a lot of different people at the same time however but this is you're on the higher position you're not on the lower part okay you're on the higher position so you're going to have the higher hand to do whatever that you want to do i see someone's face here this reminds me of the face of van gogh I don't know if you have seen his painting of himself. Like this looks like on the side profile though. Uh, this can be a creative opportunity showing up for you. Maybe you have something in your hand. Maybe a person, I see letter M as in Mary or Matthew. Um, can be a person that is very creative, very artistic. Maybe they don't receive any recognition. Um, there's going to be a massive recognition coming without like seven months or so. This person is going to be actually upgraded into a position in a higher position maybe if you're like an agent helping these kind of people to get to the places them and see like be recognized you can be even also doing that i know this is too far-fetched or you might be also creative um because sometimes i see in the comments like um it's not maybe in your area like everybody's creative we all have creativity okay and uh, it can be different areas but even if you don't have it, let's let me let me explain with a quick example. Okay, guitar is an instrument. Some people have a good ear. Some people are resilient. You can they both can play that instrument. Okay, if they follow the routine, but uh, untrained uh, talent doesn't worth anything. Okay, so I feel like there's gonna be that kind of a moment that you're gonna have. Like you have a talent. It's not trained and you're not feeling confident about it, but you're going to have the opportunity, maybe the guidance uh, of someone that will be trained. And this will actually, um, this what I gave you as an example was musical, but this can be like a sales also because I see a be beautiful, huge crowd here. Like there are people coming, can be a teaching thing. Maybe you have knowledge and don't know how to teach, but you have an information that can be served people and you're actually handing this over to a lot of people as soon as you train it with this guidance this guidance can be spiritual this guidance can be literal a person may take you in and just give you the information you need but you're holding up here with your hands a huge fish as soon as you actually gain the confidence there's a shoe here you're starting to travel also there's a mask i see uh, I don't see it in a bad way because I see a dragon's head um, um, fish here. So mask is a good thing in some kind of situations because uh, you need to embody some different energies in order to make things happen. Even if you're not feeling confident in a situation, wearing the mask of confident, I don't, I don't mean um, arrogance. I mean confidence. That's two different things. And if you wear that mask it just becomes your personality and sometimes it feels like imposter syndrome but it's not it's like you deserve to be confident within your being within yourself and you're gonna actually receive this information feel it in your heart that's why it's showing that's why this mask is in the heart shape okay so in your heart you're gonna know your worth that's gonna be a transformation happening i see you're opening your arms up in the air and celebrating something as soon as you just embody this energy all right my lovelies i'm gonna get into your plate now if you have a question a desire an intention hold it in your mind let's see what it says for you i see pine trees on a hill here maybe you're i don't know if you're planning to travel to somewhere which has pine trees and uh, your desire is actually going to be coming towards you really soon. But time, pine trees disappeared. So it was a metaphor. Probably there's like two, one person here, one person here. There's a fish in between them. This can be a food. Actually, what just popped into my head. I think in Christianity, there's actually a reference like a fish about like Jesus Christ. I think he just shares the fish. Just comment down below. Let, let me know because I'm not very knowledgeable about this kind of things your desire is coming really fast to you and i feel like there's a fish in between you and someone that you need to share this can be like a person a partner uh, that you're going to be connecting and you're going to be making money together and splitting it at the end and there's a dolphin jumping towards you this is maybe in 12 weeks 11 weeks or so and there's a boot showing there's an opportunity of travel coming which will bring you a lot of fun the boot indicates travel and the fish uh, this dolphin is actually not only fish but also like it's not a like it's a mammal but also it indicates um fun entertainment joy 
okay so when you travel there you see the path is opening for you already as well and when you travel there this is gonna give you like a lot of joy and um uh, also um like there's a second thing also the second path appearing with a bag of money on top of it so it's gonna also bring you abundance as well i see here there's another bag of money showing this has some time too maybe within like six seven weeks when you travel or months depending on your situation when you travel it's coming on during that time this can be like a place that you're gonna go maybe for your work or to introduce some things okay oh wow okay hold on we seen love in your cup as well we have two two twos in a row which is a good sign okay uh, we have two of wands and two of cups so there's gonna be a completion okay uh, whatever that you started you're finishing that up and you're actually going to be moving into a new thing let's see what we have here taking the next steps bold and ambitious choices partnering oh my god i have a fly here <laughs> Partnering with others who share your dreams, expanding your plans, continue to move forward. Two of Cups, falling in love or resurgence of romantic relationships, forgiveness and the ending of challenges, exchanging gifts, don't give up on people you love. Beautiful. Too much going on, stress caused by many positive, positive, eight of wands is positive, opportunities, unexpected events or rapid changes, the ability to multitask, business travel, there you go. We have the empress here, time to take action, give birth to your dreams, creative projects will be very successful, abundance and prosperity. This is amazing guys, I'm so like happy with this reading. All right, my lovelies, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.